Welcome to How to Fix Reconciliation Discrepancies in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And hey, before we get started, make sure to head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. I have a link in the description to the video. Over there, I've got a great free mini course, which is going to help you avoid the top three mistakes people make in QuickBooks Online. All right, let's get started here. So you have a reconciliation discrepancy in QuickBooks Online. Now, basically what that means is that you have reconciled your bank statement for one month, then you go into the next month and the beginning balance is off. It's different. And so you need to know how to fix that. Otherwise, you can't reconcile and your cash balance will be off in your books, which is never good. All right, so let's take a look first. So we are in a sample company file here. I'm gonna go up to the gear icon and I'm going to click on Reconcile. So you'll see here that everything's great. Last statement date, 1031, there's no issues, beginning balance matches. So now, typically what happens is when this beginning balance gets off, what happened is somebody changed the transaction, they might have voided it, they might have deleted it for a reconciled month. When that happens, it's going to throw off your beginning balance, and that's what we need to fix. So let me show you an example here of how this happens. If we go over to the bank register over here, and this would have been a transaction that happened in October. All right, so let's say that we change uh, this one here, this attorney fee, and we change this to $99. And, you know, somehow... Somebody might change this, they're going to get this alert, and they're, it's going to say, hey, this was already reconciled. They save it anyway, and they just continue on their day, okay? It might be that another transaction was voided, a deposit was voided, or deleted, same thing with an expense. It happens, all right? In the day-to-day -day chaos of owning and running a business, this kind of stuff happens. So now, if we go to reconcile again, so now let's say that this happened and we go to reconcile our bank account, you're going to see your account isn't ready to reconcile yet. It, it's nice. It gives you this alert in QuickBooks Online, which QuickBooks Desktop does not do this for you. But it's great that QuickBooks Online does because it tells you, hey, this is off. All right. So all you need to do in this case, it tells you beginning balance is off by a dollar. We can help you fix it. So if we click, we can help you fix it. We're going to see here that there's this one here, and then there's also a couple other here that changed. This deleted one, and then this one that was reconciled in the register. Now, these two should offset because one was deleted and one was reconciled in the register. So that should be okay. The one we want to focus on is right here. Reconciled amount, 100 bucks, Amount, 99 So if we click on that, we can change this to... 100. We hit save and we should be good to go. These two should offset. All right, so let's hit done. Now you'll see that it's ready to reconcile. It takes away that alert and it tells you that, hey, everything is good now. Your beginning balance matches. All right. So again, QuickBooks Online makes this very, very simple to do. So if you do run into that issue in QuickBooks Online of somebody changes a previous transaction, Go to reconcile the bank account and you'll see that alert there and it's going to tell you how to fix it. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University. Got a lot of great resources over there. It's qbuniversity.org.